Growing up in New Zealand, we were always told to be sun smart. At school, we'd get told off if we were playing outside without a hat on, and the teachers ensured we had applied sunscreen if we were doing any outdoor activities. That was because New Zealanders are at a very high risk of melanoma, which is the deadliest form of skin cancer. This is how melanoma arises. We are made up of billions and trillions of cells. Cells grow, divide, and die, all in a very controlled manner by following a set of well-defined instructions. But when there's a change somewhere in this process, cells could start growing and dividing uncontrollably, which can then lead to cancer. Harmful UV rays from the sun can cause those changes on our skin cells and make the skin cells divide uncontrollably. Hence why we call cancer a disease of growth. Now being a disease of growth, recently it was found that some melanoma cells expressed a lot of these docking sites for growth hormone. And those docking sites are called growth hormone receptors. Normally, when a growth hormone comes and binds to the growth hormone receptor, a set of instructions that are involved in growth and division of cells are activated. But the consequence of having more of these docking sites is that when this process is boosted, that can support cancer progression. So the question is, could we slow down the rate of melanoma growth by blocking these growth hormone receptors? To answer that question, I've been making growth hormone receptor blockers. These blockers have the same structure as a normal growth hormone, so it can still be recognized by the receptor. But there are slight modifications to it. So upon receptor binding, all the subsequent instructions that are needed for growth of the cancer cell will be blocked. So essentially, this blocker is disguised as a normal growth hormone and will be competing for that spot on the receptor. First of all, in the lab, I showed that if you give more growth hormone to melanoma cells, they indeed grow more. But the blocker I made effectively blocks the growth instructions. And a trend for decreased tumor volume was seen in mice. So the results are promising. This brings hope that in the near future, this growth hormone receptor blocking strategy could benefit us in our battle against melanoma. Thank you.